Good afternoon, what up? Lunchtime runtime. Now I tried to do this yesterday with the camera, but the GoPro wouldn't work because it was too cold. So I had to put the uh, Enduro battery into there, which straight it down to like minus 10, I think, or minus 15 degrees Celsius. So we should be okay. It is about minus two, which is whew, cold. Now, Liz and I are both a bit under the weather this week. We're not too bad, but definitely not 100%. Uh, Liz thinks she's got strep throat, throat strep, something. I don't know, something from the kids at school. I think I'm pretty sure I've got the same thing, but I feel probably a little bit better than she does. But I'm coughing, I feel a little bit chesty. But <clears throat> the key is, I feel okay. So I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't feel okay. So I'll leave the stats on the screen for today's run, but I fully expect it to be about eight and a half minute miling. But whilst I don't feel amazing, you know, I feel all right enough to just tick along a little bit and also I know that if I didn't do some sort of exercise I'd probably be really grumpy and not happy with myself and be miserable and take it out on Liz so better just get a little bit of exercise done but I'm gonna listen to the body and decide later on today if I get on the bike or not tonight but I'm just trying to work on the things that I can work on whilst I'm not 100% and a super steady run seems to be that anyway I'm gonna let her get home then I'll see you later on for don't know, whatever happens. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago when I was in big trouble for breaking the slow cooker? Well, I'm gonna try and compress a long story. The one that I tried to order, a direct replacement, was not in stock, so we ended up having to upgrade. Now, don't get too jealous. I know often people on YouTube flex their lifestyles and their possessions hard. I suppose that's what this is. This is a crock pot, and it's got a built-in timer, so you can make it turn on and off itself as well. What a luxury. Some sort of chili in there, I think. Mmm, smells delicious, but yeah, check that out. Bigger capacity, digital, what well, flex. Anyway, let's go and get on the bike. make such a meal out of a one hour zone two training session but there you go done and dusted super sick montage done thank you very much elizabeth for that video footage when she came in i thought right i'm a couple of months into winter training now been working with total endurance nutrition in a couple of months lost some weight feel a bit fitter consistent training how am i looking liz what do you reckon and she said it smells in here so thank you very much elizabeth for that important feedback yes i agree i will leave the window open for half an hour or so after this session, don't worry. Snot rockets have been in, <laughs> towel only. I've uh, done just over an hour in zone two. The only reason I did just over an hour is to finish a route on Zwift. I try and tick off a route most times I get on the bike. A bit more XP and something to motivate you to finish the session. Felt okay, I feel a bit I'm a bit chesty, but I feel, I feel actually all right like riding the bike. Like my heart rate was actually okay as well, so I'm just not gonna worry about it. A Couple of things to talk about, or give you a heads up about videos that are coming in the next few days. I'm trying to be more YouTube, I think, and try and think about titles and stuff and thumbnails, etc. You might have seen already. Um, I'm also going to talk about why this bike is looking more and more like an adventure bike, but I'm going to do that in a week or two when the reason will become apparent. It does also need a wash, but I will do that soon as well. Right, what am I going to be doing? I have recently taken delivery of some pedals now times two. So I have got the Wahoo Powerlink Zero Speed Play pedals, a long name I know. These are going to go on the Crit bike. And then I've got the Wahoo Speed Play <laughs> Aero non power pedals that are going to go on the TT bike because I have a power crank to go on the TT bike. And also, I've oh, got this to hand like I'm organized. A new, co oh, a new cockpit to go on the TT bike as well. A lot of stuff, a lot of things in bits, and I'm just like, started things and not finished them, so hopefully in the next few days, I'll get some time to try and do that. But yeah, I'm hoping to do like a TT bike refresh build, uh, video, as well as, I've never used Speedplay pedals before. I've had to get some other shoes, I know you need different cleats, I've got the cloths of the cleats in the pedal box. 
cleat adapters because they've got three pin shoes, not four pin, which is what Speedplay are. So it means the stack's a little bit high. Anyway, I'm going to cover it in a separate video, but I hear Speedplay is faster. So that's what we're going to do. And I also wanted to try some different power measurement systems across different bikes. So that's essentially what I'm going to do. Wahoo didn't gift those to me. I do get a discount through work, but it's not like, oh my God, these are basically free. It's like, oh, it's worth buying. So um, yeah, fair enough. Um, I'm going to do, in the next couple of days as well, a QA. and I haven't done one for about a year. And I figure there's a lot of people watching this channel who haven't been around for years and years. So if there's anything you want to know about my history, about my training, about life, whatever, please do drop them in the comment section down below and I will compile them into a Q&A video for me or for Liz. Liz, I, I, I did, I asked this on Instagram a couple of days ago and I got told off because Liz said she wanted to do a Q&A together, not just me. So if you've got any questions for Liz or for I or for both of us, please do feel free to ask and we'll do our best to answer as many as we can. That'll be out in the next few days. Thank you very much. And is that it? I think that's it. That is it. I'm going to end today's video there. A bit of a mishmash there. I'm not recording this clip again. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button down below. Hope you get ready for Christmas and I will see you tomorrow at one o'clock for some sort of triathlon training.